How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Miko Foot Massager. I've actually reviewed this exact model, except in white, many, many years ago. I went through this crazy minimalism thing and got rid of a lot of things. Not because I didn't like it, but I have too many massagers laying around. And after getting rid of all of them, I kept on thinking back, you know, that Miko Foot Massager was pretty good. I wish I can have it again. So Miko provided me with yet another one. This one is a different color, but between me having the first one and this one, I reviewed like two or three other foot massagers and those are actually not as good, even though the concept is the same. Inside there's an air pillow at the bottom. There's these little nubs that keeps on moving around to massage the bottom of your foot. And if you look at their website, they've developed it quite a bit. Having been mentioned on L, USA Today, New York Today and CNN. Funny thing is though, it actually actually comes with two remote controls. At first I thought this is a mistake, but when I looked at the manual, <laughs> yeah, sure enough, two remote controls. The first thing I thought of is, hey, I can steal the battery out of this thing and put it in something else that needs one. It uses a CR2025. So with that said, let's take a look at the features of this thing. The on off button is right here. It says 15 minutes and it reduces by one minute right away. Blue kneading is continuous kneading and then you got the red which is pulsing kind of kneading. Pressure goes from one, two, three, four, five is a lot. It like squeezes it like really, really hard. Even harder than like me squeezing my own hand like this. The most I can take is level four and also here you can turn on and off the heat. All foot massagers has this inner removable sleeve. You can just unzip it. Then we can see the inside looks like that. There's some lighting that's inside there. When the heat is turned on and the pumps are on, it looks like it peaks around 45 watts. Comes with the 60 watt power supply. Let me open this thing up. You shouldn't do this yourself. You could say I'm a technician. I have a double E degree, so I probably won't get electrocuted or anything. It's unplugged in. But still, don't do this yourself. Some people might be tempted to remove the feet, but I don't think that's what's holding it together mechanically. So I'm gonna try and remove all the screws on the perimeter first. Here we go. They all seem to do this, which is there's a little rubber band here that holds the toe right at the tip. So once you release that, you can easily pull off the whole thing. A little plastic pin here to hold this together. Here's the bellow. There's a pump that pushes air through these tubes and expands this so much that mushes your foot into these little nubs that's kind of moving around. I removed the top piece. I'm gonna turn it on. The heel goes here and your toes go over here. I've taken apart several foot massagers and the difference between this and others is the design of these nubs. Some of them have more nubs, some of them have a wider, back portion over here, but you really, you gotta stick your foot in there and see how it feels. If these nubs matches up with your particular foot and how that feels for you. And this light here is not cosmetic. It feels warm to the touch. I can push the heat button and see the light turns off. One single motor translates this motion into a rolling motion and this thing goes back and forth. And it's also attached to this thing that goes back and forth and up and down. So let me turn it off. I'm gonna put it all back together and stick my foot in there. Remote is nice so you don't have to bend down and push these buttons here. Sitting completely upright, you can just turn it on, stick your foot in there. And based on my testing, you really wanna shove it all the way in there so that the front of your foot touches this edge here. The nubs internally works better that way. I'll do it all the way up to P4 and you can turn on and off the heat, kneading from momentary to continuous. So let's do continuous. Turn it up all the way up to five. Oh, it's really hard right now. If five might be too hard depending on if it hits the right spot or not. So you might try shifting your foot towards the inside or towards the outside of this hole. Turn on the pressure to five. We can watch the bellows blow up here. It lets go a little bit and then it pushes a little bit harder the next round. If you guys are interested in this product, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.